Hey babies and welcome back to my channel and if you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. If you are a returning subscriber, hey baby. I did say I'm going to do a detailed eyebrow tutorial and this right here is it. So stay tuned if you want to get those eyebrows snap closer. I am going to make this video as realistic as can be. So, um, yeah, let's get right to the video. Um, this, this is going to be the don'ts side and this is going to be the do side. So, I haven't done anything to my eyebrows. I haven't even shaped them. Because most of the time when I shape them, I just come out with just like a crazy shape. So, what you want to start off with, you want to just comb your brows up like so. Yo, there are kids outside and they're making so much noise. Um, you just want to comb it up like so. Um, to comb this up, I am using a spoolie. Um, I got this from MAC. Usually when you purchase something from MAC, they give you this for free. Or you can just go to MAC and ask someone to give it to you. I don't think that would be a problem. So when you're done with the process of uh, combing up, you want to start drawing your eyebrows. I'm so sorry, my hair. My hair keeps getting in the way of things. But you kind of want to start um, drawing your eyebrow. So to draw it, I'm going to use uh, a drugstore eyeliner. This is a Disco. I got this from Discam. It retails for about 17 Rand 95. Um, very cheap. And My face is like super dry, it's winter, so I am having a little bit of dryness, but that's not a problem. Um, okay, so yeah, this starts. So you want to start with like, it must be very sharp guys, like super, super sharp. Okay, like let me show you how sharp mine is. Okay, it must be like super sharp, okay, so that you can get like proper, proper precision. So... I'm not going to just go in and start drawing the eyebrow, just like, vroom, you know. I'm going to start with like very, very small strokes. Just stroke that. Following the line of your brow. Okay, just follow the shape of your brow. This is what you have done with just like doing small strokes. This is what I have. Um, this is what it looks like currently. So yeah, let me go ahead and do the top part. Okay, when I do the top part, I don't start from here. I'm gonna show you guys why I don't do that. So I just do that. That. here we are like this is the eyebrow as it is okay remember don't start from here i'm going to show you exactly why you shouldn't start drawing from here at the top so i'm going to fill this brow in Again, I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to stop where I started during the top part. So I'm just going to fill that in. Like so. Yes. So like this is how your brow looks. Okay. Right now. This is how it looks. Mm -hmm. So guys, I am going to show you how to fill in and blend out this awkward, just light space. So what you want to achieve is that nice faded out look. So I'm just going to brush 
I'm just going to go ahead and brush this part of the end. So what's going to happen is, as I brush this out, like this end part right here out, what will happen is, product will transfer onto this spoolie. So I will be able to just flick this right here. So as you can see, as I flick it, it's starting to darken out. So it's just filling in. So it's going to give you that nice gradual effect. Okay, that nice gradual light, light, dark, dark, and dark. So um, to darken it out a bit more, I am going to go in with a darker, um, a darker um, pencil. This is Passion. Again, this is also a drugstore. Um, liner so I'm just gonna darken my brow so yeah this is your brow this is your brow okay so we're gonna go in into cleaning the brow okay love so we're gonna go into um, cleaning your brow um, I do, um, I use, um, the LA Girl, sorry, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer to clean up my brows. This is in the shade Fawn, focus, okay, this is in the shade Fawn, um, I use this shade, it is like my foundation shade, like it's closer to my foundation shade, so it, it blends out beautifully. It blends out very nicely so that's why I use this one okay let's just pump some product out I don't know whether I should use like a brush or I should just like use <laughs> I don't know I don't know whether I should use a brush or I should just use this because I usually like I always use the tip like I always like I'm that person I use this tip like almost all the time so I don't know whether I should use the tip, but yeah, I'm just going to use the tip, hey? So I'm going to clean up the brow now. Time to clean up. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up now, okay? All right. Too much. Okay. So this is how I clean up my brow. So as you can see, I didn't start cleaning up from like the top part. I started cleaning up from like way underneath so that I can be able to control how much product must go up and how much product must go down. Okay, I'm going to just control this. Pick up some product from my finger. You are cleaning. What I can tell you about cleaning is that cleaning shapes your brow. Like it gives it like a nice clear finish. Here it is when it's just roughly cleaned I'm gonna up. Go ahead and I'm going to clean the top part. Most people don't clean the top part anymore, but I still do it because I like a very, very clean eyebrow. Okay.
I don't like a very harsh arc. That's why I usually soften my arc. Okay, so go underneath here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a a, a brush to define that. This is my Carla brush. It is a brow liner, um, 317. Uh, I got this from Discam. I don't remember how much it retails for. So just to define this, I go in and I do that. See? Okay, you are not gonna go in and wear like any foundation or anything and you're just gonna do only your brows. What you want to blend with is um, a sponge because it will suck up most of the concealer. Okay, so just blend that out. Here you go. Just blend it out nicely. And this is how it looks when it's all blended out. Like how beautiful is this? Okay loves, so I am going to go ahead and do the don't side. Um, the side. So if you've come this far into the video, you might as well just subscribe. I mean, <laughs> I mean join the family. Yeah. Okay, so... um. I'm just gonna do the don't side. I'm gonna make it as realistic as possible because this is what I'd be seeing out here in these streets. So I'm gonna make it as realistic as possible. I would like to think that everybody combs their brow. Okay, so, and they start during. No attention whatsoever into the tip of this thing and how sharp it is or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start during. And I look down into my mirror and start drawing. As you can see, guys, if your thingy is not sharpened, if your pencil is not sharpened, it's not going to give you good precision. It's going to be big, thick. It's just going to look crazy. So let me just show you. Okay, let me just draw. Okay. Like, you can already see that this is too thick. Already it's too thick. Okay? So, it's not giving me the precision that I want. So, I'm just gonna draw. Draw and draw. Okay? Then I'm gonna go up here. And draw some more. Big mistake. Big, big mistake. Huge mistake. Drawing from here. <sighs> I don't know. Like, it already looks very wrong. Like, it already looks super odd. Like, it just looks wrong. So, I'm going to go in. Fill in. Fill. Fill. Now, I'm going to do what I see most people do. I don't know why this is done most of the time, but I see people doing this. They go like this. What in the world? What is this? This is what this this is the type of mistake I always see people doing. Like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, I am gonna go ahead and do what I see most of the time in these streets, and I'm gonna over highlight my brow. Mhm. Mm I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna over highlight it. Nobody. Absolutely nobody people in the streets. 
Yep, people in these streets. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the brow. Sorry. This is me cleaning up the brow. The brow. Okay, I'm blending this in, but as you can see, it's not blending in nicely because uh, this is not um, my shade. Like this um, concealer is not my shade, and that concealer was in the shade Creamy Beige. That's two shades lighter than me. I use it to highlight my nose and just to highlight my face. Here we go. This is what it looks like. This is the don't side and this is the do side. Don't do. Don't do. The bad and bougie. The street. Okay lovers, this is what we are looking like at the moment. This is the don't side and this is the do side. Okay, this is what you want to look like out in these streets. And this is what you don't want to look like out in these streets. Don't ever let nobody catch you slipping, okay? We take this eyebrow business very seriously, okay?